my channel so today I am back with another video and this time I'll be doing a very highly requested video on how I record my nail videos so it's gonna be really nice and simple it's literally not much to it but people just think that I have like this extravagant camera setup or whatever the case may be but to be honest all I use is my iPhone I have the iPhone XS Max or whatever it's called which is the most recent iPhone uh, which has really good camera quality and then I also use just a ring light so this is just I believe it's like a 12 inch um, ring light that I got on Amazon and it literally just looks like this just a regular ring light so nothing fancy and then usually when I'm recording, I always keep it on this side. So as you guys know, I have the Valentino nail table. So it's just right in the middle, right, uh, with my nail polish behind it. So I have a really nice setup to where everything's kind of, you know, in reach. Um, and then my ring light, I just keep it over here on this side, like next to my trash can. So if someone comes in and I know that they're getting either a full set or just something that I haven't recorded before, I just grab my ring light and just set it right here on my left side. Um, so basically, um, it's going to be really nice and simple. Sorry, someone just sent me some money. So um, I just get my ring light and I put it over on the left side of my table. And I just tilt it over to where the back leg is up in the air just like this. And I do it to where it's like leaning up against my table, just like this. And you can either have it on your left side or your right, right side, whatever is more comfortable, you know, to you. And then once it's leaning over just like this, there's a handle over here on my left side. So all I have to do is just turn that up and then I just lean the ring light towards the uh, table and then just lock it into place to where my... Um, line is kind of like at a 90 degree angle and it's parallel to my table but one thing that i do want to mention is that it also has like the actual like little tripod for your phone so you can fit your phone in there but the only thing about that hold on the only thing about that is that if i put my phone on there the way that the little tripod on there is i would be recording uh vertically and i want to record horizontally so what I have to do instead of putting my phone like on the actual tripod, I just set my phone on top of the actual um, ring light, on top of the ring light to where it's just sitting there horizontally. And that way, you know, we get a good angle because my client sits on this side of the table. I sit on this side of the table. So they just get, you know, when I record my videos, you get that top view just like this. Um, so it's really nice and simple and then I'm sure you can't see it but I have these lights up here and there's just from Home Depot there I think they're called track lights and it's just three lights I have two like just pointing at the table and then I have one that's pointing at the actual nail polish and then I also have some other lights over here and honestly I feel like sometimes some of my videos are still kind of dark so I'm thinking about getting like two more lights to put on this side and then something else that I've noticed as well is that like when I um, just record on top of my table it's like I don't know if like the light has something to do with like this glass or whatever but usually I notice that when I have like I have some like little paper basically like paper towels but they're like table covers when I use those I notice that my table or my lighting in my videos are like much brighter um, so what I did was I just ordered basically, um, what is it, basically like a, a table mat and it's going to have my logo all on it. So when I record, I can just put that underneath um, and then you can basically see my logo and it'll also give us better lighting. So hopefully that helps. Um, so again, this ring light is just from Amazon. I believe it's a 12 inch one. Um, I don't know if it has the brand on here. And then also with this one, you can adjust the light whether you want to dim it or make it as bright as it can which is just this um something else that i use is just this little thing right here and it's just the tripod um i think i got this one from five below so if you notice in some of my videos lately i've been recording like at a side angle which i know some of you guys said that you like because you're able to kind of see me working you know and you're able to see you know how thick the nail is and how i'm actually applying the beads 
So for those videos, I use this little tripod and you can just put your phone on here just like this. And then you can just set it here on the table, whether it's on the corner or this other corner or just the side or however you want. But again, this one I just got from Five Below. It was literally $5.00. And then I think these also you can use for like blogging, um, which I could I would probably use this for my camera. Um, so you could just use this one as well, but I just use this one right here for the side um, for some of my recent videos that I've been doing like a different angle. Um, the only thing about when I'm recording from the top is that as you guys can see, the ring light doesn't actually reach all the way to the middle, so I just kind of have to work over here on the side. So sometimes in some of my videos, you will notice that, you know, I'm not just centered on the table where the dust collector is, um, and that's just because the ring light does not reach all the way over there. Um, but again, I have it to where it's leaning up against my table, the back leg is up in the air, and then I just adjust this, um, you know, to where it's like at a 90 degree angle, and it's parallel, parallel to my table table and then I just sit the phone right on top to where it's not actually in the tripod but just sitting right on top of the uh, ring light and you do have to make sure that you don't bump it because if not your phone will fall over I've had it happen multiple times but you know nothing happens to the phone but yeah I just sit it up there like that and that's basically pretty much it again I don't do anything extravagant now I did get a new camera which is what I'm recording with now and for that one I just have another big ring light in front of it which is bigger than this one and um, I do want to get a different setup for my camera because I um, actually got the Final Cut Pro and I want to start using that to edit my videos right now I'm using iMovie which I just do everything on my phone literally everything on my phone i edit my videos i record my videos with my phone i make my little thumbnails with my phone like i do everything with my phone um so that'll be you know a different video as well but i do want to start using this camera that i'm recording with i want to start using my uh actual computer and i want to start using final cut pro so i actually had a class today at apple for them to teach me how to use my final uh, cut pro but for some reason i was thinking that it was at 1 30 but it was like 1 30 universal time and i'm in central time so that would have been like 8 30 this morning and i totally missed it so i'm heard about that so i'm gonna have to either reschedule hopefully i can do that or i'm just gonna have to thug it out and just learn on my own um but yeah so as you can see it was a really basic setup now in my other room i had a different setup to where i don't know if i can sh actually show you guys but i actually had my dad do it because i was like hey you know like I don't want to have to deal with the actual, you know, like having to grab my ring light, set it up here each time. Um, so what he basically did was we had the same uh, ring light set up. And what he did was, I think he took this out somehow, but I know he took this thing out to where it was just the ring light and this pole, just this one, not the rest. And then he mounted something up on the ceiling. Hold on. Okay. Anyways, and then he had something up on the ceiling to where it was like basically a circle. And he just put this pole in there. And then the ring light was like right in the middle. So I could still, you know, make it go up and down. Um, and that was also very convenient. But honestly, one second. Anyway, so that was also very convenient, but I didn't want to have that here in my room because I just feel like my this nail like nail room was too pretty to have that big thing just like sitting here in the middle and like if I took a picture like you was gonna just see that ring light hanging from the ceiling. So that's why I didn't want it, but it was very very convenient. So if you don't care about that, then that would also be a great way to go. Um, but again, right now, my dad is supposed to be working on something for me to where I could have it like kind of like right here, something that could sit on top of my table. Um, I did find like an overhead, I forgot what it was called, but it's basically like an overhead tripod, but it was like $200 and it looked really, really basic. So my dad was like, I can make that. So he's supposed to be making it for me. So once he makes that, I'll be sure to, you know, do an updated video on my new setup. But I'm not just, you know, in a rush to get that done. Just because that tripod is going to be for my camera. Um, and right now I'm not, you know, very, um, 
I don't know how to work the Final Cut Pro because if I record it with my camera, I'll have to record it on the computer. And so I'm not really just rushing. So I'm just going to stick to my ring light and my phone for right now. Um, because, you know, they say if it's not broke, don't fix it. So it's working really good for me. So we're just going to kind of stick to this for now. Um, but yeah, basically that's pretty much it. So again, I'll be sure to leave the link in the description to this ring light. And then this one you can just find probably on Amazon as well, but I got this from Five Below, but I'll be sure to look for this one online and see, you know, how much is it. Uh, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully it helped someone out there. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at GetNo32. And I'll see you guys next time. And then also I will be making a video on how I edit my videos as well as anything else that you guys may be wondering about on my setup and you know just my videos in general you know anything related to youtube just be sure to leave a comment down below and just let me know and i'll do my best to get a video out as soon as i can so again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time